Here is the new design I have. You can see the frequency is around 7 MHz. There's a little bit of jitter in the counter because of a problem with the counter. It's not a stability issue with the transmitter. I have it in an Altoids tin, and I have a screw here that can be used to tune it. But first, I will show. We have the receiver set on about 7.118 upper sideband, so you can hear around 7.12 MHz very clearly. And I will use a screwdriver to twist the screw. You can hear it's very stable. And this will uh, tune a very wide range. I'm not going to sit here and tune the whole thing. But I will demonstrate that we can cover pretty much all of 7 meters. I'm sorry, 40 meters. About all of 7 megahertz that we need. And I'll practice stopping at 300 just to show that I have a lot of control. Look at that. That's close enough. And if I go over here to 7.3, I should hear it just fine. And that's it. It's kind of hard for you to see on the camera there. The internals are fairly similar to the previous circuit. This tape was just holding it down so it wouldn't move as I twisted the screw. This is the circuit on the inside. Pretty straightforward. We have the tuning coil with the screw that goes in and out. And the screw, the nuts that hold the screw are soldered to the container. That was really important. Uh, however, I did notice that even with these two nuts soldered to the container, the screw jiggled a little bit in the, in the setting, and that made the frequency a little bit unstable. So I added an extra wire here. Some of the websites mention adding this stabilization wire to help set the, set the nuts, but after they were already set, I decided to go and add this back, and this provides a little bit of constant tension on the screw. It makes it a little, a little more difficult to turn the screw, and it keeps the frequency stable. It's less likely to jitter. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Voltage regulator with some filtering, a culprits oscillator, and then the output of the FET goes directly into a buffer chip and out some coax and then to my counter. Right now it's using a 50 ohm dummy load, but it's pretty low power, maybe half of a watt. And that is the current transmitter, so I'll see if I can build an amplifier for it, and it would be nice if we can eventually rig this so that we can make a QSO with it. Also keep in mind that the output of this is square waves, which is great for lots of the modern styles of mixers. I think of the Gilbert cell mixer and the SA612 chip that a lot of my designs have been using for the receive side. These square waves should be able to power the receiver pretty well. So hopefully with one nicely designed oscillator I'll be able to have a transmitter and a receiver and I can always build an amplifier later.